I go to this diner. I'm not a resto rants. I never go to resto rants. I only go to diners. And I only go to diners and serve breakfast all day long. Because, I mean, who the hell are they to tell me when I should eat breakfast? Who the hell are they to tell me when I should get out of bed? Well, this particular breakfast, this particular day, three, four o'clock, sausages, hash browns, white toast, black coffee, and eggs over easy. Very easy. So you can still taste the rawness and the yolk. So you can almost taste that chicken. Sometimes jam, sometimes not. Depends on the day. This day, no. So I'm sitting there thinking to myself about how when the trees are dead and the leaves are gone, you can see so much more of the world. And then this woman, four, four and a half feet away, left side, starts talking to her friend in this pretty loud voice about this trip she just took to Mexico. There were so many gringos. Yeah, I'm serious. Gringos. That's what she said. And then, every time the guy brings something over to the table, she goes, Gracias. And gracias, like she took one trip there and she turns into fucking Mexico. But that'd be okay. I mean, that'd be okay until she starts talking about being on this bus with all these men. And she says men like it's some kind of a disease or a new drug. Men. What am I? I'm a man. I'm a man sitting right there. I mean, she'd be looking right at me if she just turned her head this much. She's practically staring at me without even moving her eyes at all. I'm right there. Then... Then out of nowhere, she's telling her friend about the Grand Canyon. The fucking Grand Canyon's not in Mexico. What am I supposed to think, right? Then, fuck, then she's describing this dream where all these men were growing out of the walls of her apartment. All these men. So I was pretty fed up, right? And not because she's a woman. Don't think that. I got nothing against women. Fake mothers? I do. Fake mothers who come up to you and resto rants and stab you in the guts with a fork, I do. But this woman here, it was just her personality that was pissing me off. And how she was saying all this shit just so somebody would hear her. I'm sitting right there. So I lean over and I say, excuse me. Why don't you get some help? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. What I said was, if you want to sleep with me, why don't you just say so? No, I didn't. I didn't say nothing. But you know what I did do, though? I got up, and I changed my seat. And that's almost as good as, as saying something. And I never went back to that diner, either. Not because of her but because they got my fucking eggs wrong. Wild Banyan, Daniel MacGyver.